a sports obsessed nut. My guy is a sports obsessed. Is that right? Oh, he is. He is. He is. It's always about golf. It's 24-7 golf channel with his friends. Uh -huh. All, always. It's basketball. It's baseball. It's like he's just, he lives it. That's what okay. he loves. It's, okay. he, li he lives in sports land. Well, that's and nice for him. Yeah, it is. It's what does it mean him. for you? For me, for me, like, I just have not gotten there with him. But I have a friend who is here today who lives with an even bigger sports obsessed fan than I do. And she has just built this beautiful relationship centered around compromise and learning to love sports. And I understand she's even written a book about it. She has written a book about <laughs> it. That was a great segue, Lauren. And I am so pleased to introduce you, uh, my audience here, to Ernestine Bayliss. Uh, she is a dear friend of mine, and I'm so excited to talk to her about her relationship and her new book. Thank you. Ernestine, thank, thank you, you for so welcoming much. Me. This is absolutely fantastic. Now we can talk about this here. on the air, not off the air. I we know. talk about this all the time. We Amy do. and I, we, we, we share our war stories about sports and guys. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's right. And yeah. Sunday afternoons alone and Sunday Monday afternoons. nights alone. Absolutely. And, and we call you know. each other, and our guys are watching the same sports show. It's absolutely true. And what's so funny is that a lot of, so Jeff and I play this charade, right? Where yeah. he calls me up and he says, hey, can I go golfing today? And I always say, sure. Like it's actually like something I have to say. <laughs> like you don't sure. know. Right? Like I don't know. Uh -huh. He's already, uh -huh. he's he's already, already there. there. Right. <laughs> he's there. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's already there. He's on the ninth hole. But he just loves it. He yeah. loves sport and I want him to be happy, right? Yeah. And so, um, but Ernestine, how, like, let's talk just briefly about your sports obsessed yeah. fan husband yeah and kind of the life that you have to live well he does this for his career he's he's on a sports show undisputed on fox sports one so he lives and breathes it for for his job but he even if he didn't have his job he would watch sports 24 7. it's just no. in his blood well yeah. his job is actually an outpouring of his passion it isn't is it, it yeah. is because when there's nothing on in the dead of summer when football is over and basketball is over and golf is is cooking and he's watching golf he finds women's softball from oklahoma city to watch <laughs> and it's like finally i think there's nothing on and he's like you have to watch these women look at how great they are and i'm like oh we have to watch this can't we watch netflix well wait just another half an hour it'll be over so he finds sports no matter where it is which which is absolutely amazing that he can live his passion just like yeah it's said, great right yeah and 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 that you don't want to kill him about no him. But, yeah but absolutely. 14 years of being with him three years married 14 years of being with him i've come to know what to do and what not to do and it's just a matter of knowing him so well and his sport obsession and what to say and what not to say. Mm -hmm. So there are lots mm -hmm. that I have written in the book about jinxes. He has tons of jinxes. You know, if, if I turn the light on in the kitchen and his game is starting to lose, he makes me go in the kitchen and turn the light off because I've now changed his game. That is somewhere in the U.S. of A. And it's not right in our <laughs> kitchen. But I say to him, how do I have this power to change a game that's in Dallas? If, if that's my power, I should buy a lottery ticket right now. Because I'm right. going to forget only you I don't have powerful. to worry about a book. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, one of, one of my favorite. So, Ernestine, just as a quick, just as a quick brief and overview, she is a best-selling author. So this is this was number one for all sports books everywhere. Wow. I mean, this was absolutely just like a, just a slam dunk. Um, no pun no intended. No pun intended. <laughs> just a sign that the women are buying the book. Yes. Right? Women are well, buying and it. the men are buying yeah. it for their girlfriends. Yeah. So they they are here. Understand hey, me. Read yeah. Here's a woman who understands right. me. Because, yeah, what's so funny is that we, there, there are maybe seven actors and singers and celebrities that I interviewed for the book, from Billy Bob Thornton, who's a friend of ours, to Lil Wayne, the rapper, to Vince Gill, who's a country artist. Um, Shannon Sharp, who does Skip Show, Stephen A, who's Skip's ex-partner, and I just asked him, hey, do you guys have jinxes? And so all of a sudden, I was on the phone with Billy Bob for an hour, and he's telling me about his jinx after jinx after jinx, what his wife can't do when he's watching sports. And then it went into, well, how do you compromise when you have a relationship with someone and you mm -hmm. want to watch sports? So each guy had their own little tactic, mm -hmm. and it was interesting to see that across the board, everybody has this little neuroses of the jinxes, which mm -hmm. is so common, and they just, they look at this sports obsession. It's like a, a religion. It's just it something is. really powerful in a guy's Absolutely. life. And some women, some women That's love right. it too. Well, so one of, the, one of my favorite things that Skip did was when he, when uh, you were on Fox talking uh -huh. about this, 
he was going on and on and on about how Ernestine kept changing the game on him. Oh. And he, he had in the background the clips yeah. of the games yeah. in the previous yeah. years. And he said, see, look, this is right. when she walked into the yeah. kitchen. Tom, this is what happened. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Brady had an interception. <laughs> Tom Brady dropped the ball yeah. because, because of I you. opened the door. Yeah. <laughs> how do I have that power? But he said to me the other day, last week, I think it was, he was watching a game. And I was about to knock on the door, and I said, hey, are you, don't open, please don't open the door, please don't open the door, oh my because gosh. I was going to then change the game. Yeah. And then he takes our little dog, Hazel, who's a little three-year-old Maltese, her birthday was yesterday, three-year-old Maltese, all of a sudden she's disappeared from the house, and I don't know where she is, and I'm thinking, <laughs> where is the dog? Hazel, where are you? Hazel, where are you? He has Hazel hold up in his room watching sports so she becomes then the little Buddha. And so <laughs> if the dog is not doing her job, then all of a sudden I see Hazel is thrown out and she's walking <laughs> looking for me. And so I say, do you want Buddha's Hazel? No longer Hazel working. is no longer the good luck she's charm. No the poor dog the is now good luck charm. Oh my God. Oh, it's it a craziness. Is, it is so funny. It, you'll see That's all of that. So I mean, funny. just a little taste of Ernestine like, tells you how funny this book is. Clearly. Right? It, it's, it's so just, true. Well, I say you have to have a sense of humor. I couldn't make this up. It is all true. That's why I wrote the book, that after all these years, people would say to me, you have to write a book. This is insane. How do you do it? But I do it because I love him, and he's worth it. And so my dad would always tell us, you have to make a list of whoever you're with or whether it's a job you're deciding to take. You make the good list and the bad list, mm -hmm. and that you decide to go with the one that has the longer column. Mm -hmm. So he had all these great qualities. You know, he's a great spiritual guy. He's caring. He's loving. Mm -hmm. He's fun. He likes the movies. I love the movies. We had all of these things in common. And then he had and a giant there column was. of S-P-O-R-T-S in <laughs> giant letters. And so I said, well, he has these great qualities, and he's a good person. So I decided to give it a shot. And then the shot turned into 14 that's, years. That's amazing. So kind of back to what your list and you know how you're compromising. Um, that is obviously we've talked before. Uh -huh. That's one of the keys to a great relationship, yep. as you've as you've said so comedically in your book. But yep. it's really it really drives the point home. So, what else have you found from like interviewing, um, you know, Billy Bob Thornton uh -huh. and Vince Gill and all these guys, and in your own relationship? What are some other points that really create a great relationship? Well, I do sit and watch games with him, and he's also very good about Friday night is date night. So yeah. on Friday night, we, we take Jeopardy every day. Mm -hmm. We watch it on Friday with our favorite food. So he makes a date night, unless there's a game that he has to watch, and then <laughs> mm -hmm. I go, okay. But we both give in to each other, and we mm -hmm. like to spend time with each other. And that's what I found when I spoke to Vince Gill. He said, Amy Grant, she loves to sit and watch the game. She mm -hmm. doesn't really get into it, but then once he starts telling her what's happening, she's there going, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo, yeah. she's rooting, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and Mm -hmm. Kevin Dillon, the same thing with his girlfriend. She's from the East Coast. He's from the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Or he, he's from the East Coast. She's from the West Coast. And so they watch, you know, the L.A. games. They watch the New York games, and they mm -hmm. cheer for each other. So I think it's just a partnership, and mm -hmm. you have to just... It's not about someone being, you know, subservient and somebody his father knows best era. It's sure. not like that. It's just if you care about the person, you just mm -hmm. have to work with them. But then does he do something that you love to do that he would never do otherwise? Uh... I would go, I drive the golf cart, I never, I don't play golf, but I will go and drive the golf cart, mm -hmm. and he plays by himself, and I'll just drive the cart, okay. and then I'll cheer him on, and I'll get mm -hmm. out of the golf cart and stand by the side while he's making a... Yeah, and, and, and that makes it fun for yeah. both of you. It yeah. totally yeah. does, and another thing is, as the, in the production of the book, he would very often come in and say, okay, let me help you here, because he's a journalist yeah. by trade, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so he's a very good writer. And so it was really, it was fun to see, you know, we take the book to a certain point, uh -huh. and, and then Skip would come in and, like, you know, use all of his expertise as nice. well. And so it was really fun to see their partnership in action and the creation and the and production. And he was great with me, because he, mm -hmm. he's written three books on the Dallas Cowboys, and he's a writer, so mm -hmm. I was writing, mm -hmm. and I'm not really a great writer. I write, I write the way I speak. She is and a great writer. So, well, I just write that also. way, but he would say to me, okay, let me make sure that what you're saying about that football game, it, it sounds correct, and you're not going to be looked at and laughed at that mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense, uh -huh. because you need the right terminology, because I would just say, they dropped the ball, and he's like, that's an interception, you know, whatever it is, so, or they're trying to get the ball in the hoop, he's like, he's made that's a three-point shot, so it was like, you need the, un, you know, it's like, follow the bouncing ball, like, that's he's great. just, it's, you know. The but, expert consultant. Exactly. Right. One, of the, one of my favorite things, analogies that, that Skip used was, he's like, you know, 
sometimes you'll say things, and I do this too, where I'm like, and Jeff will tell me all the time, he's like, you got it like 95% right, right, and then on the one yard right. line, you just right. totally fumble. Right. Right. Like, right. Like, you know, exactly. And, it, and so like, so the way Skip described it to me one time was, it's like peanut butter and jelly. You always say peanut butter and jelly. You never say jelly and right. peanut butter. That's exactly so, right. So when you announce a game and uh -huh. you say, you know, that the uh, Patriots beat the Buffalo Bills, 14 to 12, you never do it opposite, right. Right. you know? And so, anyway, it's like the That's jelly so true, and thing. I think about mm -hmm. that all the time, mm -hmm. because he'll say to me, he'll call me if he's driving home from somewhere, he'll say, can you do me a favor, put the game on, what's the score? And I used to say, Oh, it's 10 to 14. He'd say, no, the larger number is the, oh, you know, yeah. that's so, yeah. I, it that's sticks so in my funny. head all the time. Yeah, I then, really do. That's right. And then sometimes Ernestine will call me and like about these like super like detailed sports like plays. And I'm like, this girl knows her stuff. Right. <laughs> just by picking it up. Oh God, you it know? just sinks in. It just sinks right in. And then in. the only reason, and this is the truth. So after watching NFL, NBA, baseball, not much on hockey, but the only way I really got into NBA, which he thinks is the coolest thing, is that I could see the guys' faces, and so I picked out really cute guys that I liked, and so I had a vested interest in why I was going to watch the game. Uh -huh. Otherwise, I have no interest in sitting four hours of watching a game. Yeah. NFL, it's hard because they have masks, you so you can see their butts, and you can see who has a better butt. <laughs> she, she, has but, a, she has a rating system on yeah, NFL butts. It's true. But, but <laughs> Excellent. It is true, Excellent. but on NBA, oh, it's like, wow, I really got into it, and I mm. like the Spurs because mm -hmm. Spurs is his team, and so I have jerseys, and I wear Spurs mm -hmm. T-shirts and sweatshirts, and when I'm on the street, the guys will be like, yeah, wow, you know, that's cool, and my <laughs> Dallas Cowboys hat, and this guy said to me yesterday, oh, you like the Cowboys? I said, well, I like them because he likes them, yeah. and I like the color, you know, it's yeah. a good color. Yeah. It looks good on me. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> that's kind of the way I buy it. wine. If I like the label, right. I buy the wine. Yeah, so, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I get it. It's true. Well, so back to kind of yeah. your career and how, like, this really exploded into yeah, something that's ab absolutely incredible just as your friend and yeah. watching watching you go on TMZ yeah. and on Fox yeah. and, on, and on all of these like amazing Next shows. Next week is Tamron Hall. So Next week is Tamron Hall. Yeah. Yeah. And so watching your career explode like this, yeah. uh, what's next for you? Well, I think, knock wood, that there's more legs to the book, so it may expand into different areas of entertainment. So that would great. be great, because it's just Can't a fun wait. book, and I think it can translate into all different um, mediums. And then maybe another book, so hopefully I have some thoughts in mind for, for something well, else fun. I learned a lot reading your book, and I laughed all the way through. <laughs> Amy, you, and you're so the best. <laughs> I couldn't do it without you. That's the God's oh, honest truth. No, well, that was it. Was just such a such a delightful book and read. And thank you so much for being on our. Thanks show. Thanks for having yeah. me. It's a great Thanks show. I love it. Sure. Oh, thank you I love so it. much. I'll have you back on soon on your next. Oh, book, good. Your okay. Next yes. All right. Episode. I'm here. Thank you. Right, thank you so much. And we'll be right back. Now, 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 now